Okay. Bring all that cow scrubby right now. I'm not drinking, I'm just smoking back to back. It's hard to focus. Got the the smoking happens the later on. Traffic, Why not be drinking? Overcame procrastination. I get paid without promotion. Cal Scrubby. Jack and Jack and it's too bad we on the map. Be ready for it. Nick Trey in the building. Nick Trey, I saw you. Part two, Nick. This is part three. Baby, come on. I don't play around. I once got told by, by someone. They said you talk for 15, 20 seconds. They said try talking for two, three minutes. I said I can talk for two, three days. You know who Corey Mac is? Come on. And when you get the Jameson going, it's different. I was send me the send me, send me the uh the thing. We get in. Let's get animated, Johnny Rancher fan of Flames in the Cabana, very strawberry banana flavor. Get your money, girl. Gender rolls are antiquated. Okay. Don't let the toxic masculinity contaminate it. You drugging women, you a piece of shit. Woo! Yeah. You need to know that. You need consent. You I always like to show love. Let's show love real quick. San Antonio's very own high strong man. He was on episode one. We're having him back soon. He's got a new album coming. Life, L-Y-F-E. Y'all be ready for it. I always gotta play my brother's shit on the air. I was send me the request. Let's, let's finish this up. It's nine o'clock. I know people gotta get back to their normal life. I get it. Oh yeah, the lights, the lighting. Yes, I'm looking shiny tonight. I'm looking shiny tonight. Had the white butt hit me with a little uh, powder right now. You know, I didn't realize with these kind of lights, man, they show everything, you know? So, uh, you know, I want to make sure I look good. So I pull up looking clean and with the sickening back with no roof on the top. You gotta be started. There she is. Hey! Local music, man. Local artist high show right now. He's on episode one. He's coming back. He's got an album dropping. This is my fucking vibe here in San Antonio. I was to know how you are about local music. This is High Strong, local San Antonio artist. He was my first yeah. episode of Catching Up With yeah. Me, okay? I love it. You need to be jamming this right here, okay? Ready? I got the Bluetooth. <laughs> Too much swinging, lane, lane inside a drop. 
All the songs you've been playing are so good. I love it. I didn't know they were local artists. I appreciate it. Not all of them are local artists. So uh, Cal Scrubby, I don't know where he's from, um, but he's been a, 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 white, a, a white rapper that's been working really hard since like 2014. He had a track with Chris Brown in 2015. Um, he's just waiting on that single. I think that he's one of those artists that needs that single to break the radio to really set it off. Um, Just Juice, I think, is a Texas dude who's also been doing his thing since maybe 2016 when maybe I caught on. Another great spitter. Uh, and then Carlton Zeus, I think you've met probably at the radio station before. Um, he's a local San Antonio artist. Uh, I got to host or I got to interview him the night that Zilla, Chris, performed with his group in the lounge. Yeah, I, I I was in one of his music videos, and I went with our alternative station. I put we we played one of Zilla's uh, group songs on our local licks at six. Yes, too. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's so that's so dope. And you know, I had Zilla on uh, not too long ago. Once again, shout out Melba uh, Melon. Uh, which Girl, I think, uh, and I saw Melinda. I think I saw uh, Melinda, Melinda, Melinda too. from Industry. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, Melinda. I thought so. And like I said, sorry, Melinda, I'm sorry about messing up your Instagram name. I try to get them right. Uh, I fuck them up sometimes. The Jameson is hitting. Um, Nick Trey is in the building, man. This, this Hi, guy, Nick. good guy right there, man. We got NW Don Fades back in the building. I told you everyone's going to jump back into the show. Uh, this is hour three now of the show. Um, I love it. I love it. Um, yes. Uh, Zilla is so cool, man. He's doing his own thing now with the gaming. He's so passionate about it. Uh, me and him so are texting cool. back and forth about every week. He's helped me out with some of the things. Uh, he's the one that taught me um, not to have my phone plugged in the entire time during my show. He was like, okay. that thing is going to fry out your phone. I did not even, and I have an iPhone 11. I can't fry out a fucking $800 phone at this time, okay? It, it cannot happen. We're in a pandemic. I have mine I'm plugged in. in. I ain't got the Should money. Should I unplug it. mine? Should I unplug my phone? No, well, I mean, if, you're plugging, if your phone's already dying, there's nothing you can do. You're only doing this once. It's the fact that I'm doing this every Friday. And if I leave my uh. phone plugged in for two, two and a half hours while I'm live streaming, he was like, yo, that's going to kill your battery. Uh, he helped me out with my Wi-Fi, getting my speeds faster. Um, I have a theory about your show, though. Okay, what's because, up? Oh, because it's so good, and it's so awesome. And um, remember, I don't know if you even watch Hot Ones, but Sean Evans, yes, that, yes, that... Yes, The Wings. Yes, The Wings. Yes. Okay, so... Stop it, Mosby. So back in the day... Um, Sean, when he when they were just barely a YouTube show, no one really watched him. Um, well, they watched him, but still, um, back in the day, like he would eat the spicy. The, the it would get so bad for the celebrities anyway, and they'd be like, "How are you doing this? How are you? You're you're fine." My theory is that he is eating wings that have no spice in them, and he's like like totally playing these celebrities like crazy. So what if, what if you're not even really taking the Jameson and you're <laughs> letting us get drunk? What about that? <laughs> I mean, yes, that could be a thing, but uh, Jameson doesn't make me feel like shit the next morning that probably fucking habanero, uh, Death Valley uh, spiced wings would make me feel probably at 3 a.m. on the toilet. That's what I'm saying. The spicy stuff, it has to take a toll on your health at some yes. point. And he eats them like nothing, like <laughs> nothing affects him. I've so never, I think yeah. it's all for show. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, I mean, I, but there are those people that have those crazy things about them that their tongue doesn't get burnt. Do you remember Homer Simpson, the episode of The Simpsons when he's at the chili festival? Now he does put the wax in for the really hot chili. But other than that, Homer's belly was developed to take every <laughs> chili possible until he met that one that Chief Wiggum gave him. Remember that? No. One? And that's when no, I said, I don't. That's I don't. I, the crazy trip. Yes. <laughs> there's so many. 
Actually, I was never on the Simpsons. Uh, I, I haven't seen every Simpsons episode like everyone else has. I'm not one of those hardcore like Simpsons fans. But I love Hank Azaria, which is weird because he's like the voice of half the cast. It's yeah. crazy. Um, yeah, I was brought on to Simpsons real early. Um, I only and and I have a collection down here. I'm missing oh. I think three. I'm missing maybe three of the DVDs: season one, season <gasps> two, and season I think nine or ten. Um, but Damn. I only like the Simpsons up to season twelve. Um, okay, I, I didn't know they lasted that long. I mean, I think they're still playing episodes. No, they're right? still they're in season thirty. Remember? That's that's beyond my. I, I I've never seen that many Simpsons episodes. No, oh, oh, Simpsons is crazy. And then I want to say, Iris, real quick, I am rocking my Rogers Place shirt tonight. Do y'all? Do you oh. all know about Rogers Place? Rogers? No. What is that? Really. Well, this is probably one of the coolest bars to drink at. It's from American Dad, the alien. Roger, that's an American oh, Dad. He has his own up. bar. American Dad is hilarious. Yeah. Bar in the base, in the, uh, in the attic. And it's called Roger. Oh, see, there's so many offshoots of The Simpsons and Family Guy. It's like, it's hard to keep track. Like, I didn't know. But I love that. That's cool. Uh, I'm wearing uh, my Scream shirt. Look, Scream. Wait. Oh, scream. Lori would like that. Hey, Lori, uh, Iris has a Scream shirt on. We're about to do a Scream marathon with our niece because she's, like I said, she's 12 years old, but she hasn't watched the real Scream movies. So we're going to oh do Oh, my it. God. The fifth one Dude, is It's so weird. The, the first one, the very first one, uh -huh. uh, when, it was, when it was raining a few days ago, it, I was, it was a Friday, right? Or Thursday? Mm -hmm. Last Thursday on my drive home from work, it was raining and pouring, and I, I texted my, my childhood friend, Katie. Her birthday's today, actually. Um, birthday, Katie. Um, so I texted her, hey, I'm putting on Scream because it's raining outside. And she's like, huh, I thought about Jurassic Park, part one. And I was like, yes, me too. But I wanted to watch something scary. Yes. And so, uh, yeah, dude, Scream part one, it used to scare us so much it, back in the day because – it was it was just so scary for me. Was it not, or am I the only one that thinks so, it was scary? So yeah. I wasn't I wasn't on the scream bandwagon. Um, I, I can truly say I wasn't sucked into that. I was watching a bunch of scary movies at those times, but I didn't jump on the scream thing. I really got into it with Lori because Lori was a huge scream fan. Where I <laughs> fell in love with Scream was Scary Movie with Anna Faris. What? No, that's scary that's movie. Her, oh, that's I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's where I like fell into it. Yeah. No, he loves all those Wayans Brothers yes. movies, oh, and so god. do I. Oh my god. No. But but, but when uh the Wayans brother, which one came to the station? Um, like Marlon he, and no Marlin. one. No. I was no. So excited. You hear that? You hear that? Okay. So I told him, I told him, because I'm the front desk girl, no one cares about me, right, Len? No one <laughs> thinks I care about pop culture or anything else. So I, I have to find out the hard way. Oh, did you know that Marlon Wayans was in the station? No, I didn't fucking know. And I love him. No, I didn't know. No one told me about this. You know when we get free food from Taco Cabana, Papa John's, Chick-fil-A? I email everyone, hey, yes, there's free you food. Do. You do. Yeah. But does anyone tell me when there's a celebrity in the house? Let me no. tell you, the encounter with Marlon was weird. He was with the, the show that's at the station, Dana and them. Um, it was um, a very weird setting. And uh, I guess he wasn't in that good of a mood that day. And the funniest thing is, if Nick Trey is still watching, uh, that day, Nick was the promotions uh, system manager at that time. And oh. he had food for a lounge event. And he asked me, what food should I get? And I was like, you should get Pluckers Wings. And Nick actually took the company card and went and got Pluckers, which is definitely extremely expensive, but so good. And I Their thought, wait list is insane. Their wait list is like two hours or I something. I can't believe Nick did it. So Nick got Pluckers. And I remember I told Shadia, hey, I really want to take a picture with Marlon. And Shadia was like, me too. And uh, Shadia had met him real quick. 
and Shadi was like, hey, he's not in a good mood. And I was like, oh, what do you mean? She was like, I don't know. He's pissed off. I think he's hangry. He's hungry, angry. And I was like, really? And that he was making comments. So when Nick came back with the pluckers, they made him a plate real quick. And as soon as he ate that plate, his mood changed completely. Just like those Snickers commercials, completely. But let me tell you, so when, when, when I asked Marlon right by the SPN studio to take a picture, he grabbed my phone out of my hand and took the picture for us. Wow. He didn't let me take the picture. Now, no hate to Marlon. Celebrities live a rough life. Look, and I'm not a super fan, so I wasn't like so bummed by this. But Ma the Wayans, you weren't bu actually. Melva said she remembers. I see it. Melva remembers this. Yeah, she remembers this. Um, this wasn't. This isn't a Little Wayne for me, or a Will Smith, or a Tom Cruise. I mean, I'm just saying this isn't. This isn't my person that I truly like. Ideally, want to meet, but I'm excited to meet him. I love the scary movies. I love. The Wayne's Brothers, um, the show back in the day on, on BET, um, of course. But um, he grabbed the phone out of my hand, Iris, and basically did a selfie style like this and went, click, and gave it right back to me. Luckily, the photo came out okay. I have it on my Instagram. But I was kind of like, oh, okay, uh, nice to meet you. You know, oh, shit. You know, and I even dressed up that day. I wore my nice OVO shirt. Oh, um, God. I for that and Nick Trace where was I rules. what was I doing and Nick remembers I was the one that told him to go get pluckers because I wanted pluckers <laughs> what was I you know that, that there was a moment like that for me back in the day I think it was before you were there but um it was back when uh Chris Martinez and Nat Boogie was there yeah, and um Oh God! It was either sky blue or red food from a uh, uh, oh, LMFAO was in the house, really? and they got to shuffle. Oh, they got to shuffle with him in the lobby, and oh, I was there. And he he lifted me up with his biceps. Wh which one was it? Wow! Yes, Ra hey Raul, Raul, please tell us which one it was that lifted Iris up by her uh, by her biceps and maybe got a quick uh, cup check. As well. well he wasn't, that was the one. <laughs> I don't think he was there, I but I remember. Think that, oh, yeah. I don't think he was there, but he remember. Uh, I mean, I told him about it. It was um I am the one with the one with the fro. Is it red foo? I I forget which the one, one he was, but the fro. The one with the fro, the funny one with the glasses. Yeah, he he was cool. I, do, I think so. I know. And Raul, I'm just kidding. Come on. That's a that's a good joke right there. That's a good roll off. So come on. <laughs> Lift it up by the biceps. The biceps are right here. You don't need a little dummy. I mean, come on. <laughs> Raul, Raul can't stop flexing them in our videos. If you watch the, the YouTube videos, uh -huh. Raul's always like doing the stupid, like, I can't even do it. The stupid, like. Uh, flexing thing that he does. You know how guys do that. You know, um, like this. I had them a little more before. They're not there so much, but a little bit. Um, <laughs> hey, Iris, once again, drop your YouTube channel because I think you do a lot of funny things on there. Um, I'm going to throw off a couple questions for you. We're going to take a shot and I'll let y'all get uh, yeah. Friday night. What is your YouTube channel, though, so people can tune in? Um, my YouTube channel, just uh, on YouTube, just search DJ Mighty Iris, and you'll see it there. And just subscribe. That would be awesome because I put a bunch of stupid little shorts. They're very short, like um, little podcasts. And uh, even the one with us, Corey, like, right? It wasn't that long. It was like 10 minutes tops. I don't even know. It was like 15 minutes. I had a great time. You did a show. Uh, you did a game with me called Song Assassination. Uh, you called me when, um, you know, Iris, I got to tell you real quick. You reached out to me at a time when I was really bumming in my life. Um, you know, the pandemic and a couple other things uh, around Christmas or New Year's had taken away two really good opportunities for me um, to, to move and be a night jock. Um, oh. Well. Um, and yeah. it was definitely a tough time. And I remember I was telling Lori I wanted to do so many things, but I didn't have the motivation to do it. 
and you reached out to me to do your song assassination and i was so excited that day um oh, that's cool. before a song assassination because i wanted to make sure it sounded so good i was like she's gonna she's gonna put together i want to make sure that i give good answers i want to be tuned in like i want to make sure i'm physically there and i was so excited and then after that uh the high strung artist i was just talking about from san antonio he does an Instagram live show just like this called Trill Tone. Oh. And oh. he brought me onto his show. <clears throat> and I was so excited, man. And I would say between y'all's two things, that is truly what brought me to where we are right now. Episode 14 of Catching Up With Mac. So I, I appreciate it. Yay, that's awesome. Woo! Take that. Because like I said, it, um, uh, for creatives like us, um, when you're isolated like we are, and you've had some opportunities ripped from you, and you've just gone through tough times. It can be really tough on your mental health, and, it, and, it, and it's tough to process things, and it's tough to find the positives in the negatives. And I feel like, for real, y'all too both kind of showed me, hey, what the fuck am I doing? Why can't I do this? And now I'm sitting here, episode 14, with DJ Mighty Iris, with two glaring lights shining at me, my blue eyes looking amazing. That's why my eyes keep getting big. Cause I feel like the blue eyes just look so good tonight. Um, Dude, your, your eyes pop oh, in these uh, lights that you have. Your eyes are so blue. It's awesome. Or my cheeks. Oh, so, sky cheeks blue going. is one of the LMFAO guys. Sky blue and red, hey. red foo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's like, all about LMFAO, it's weird. Hey, but I want people to tune into your, uh, I think that uh, NW Dawn Fades put the link right here. Melba said she didn't know you had a YouTube. She is excited now. Oh, She's going to be subscribing. It. Can I just say, Melba, Melba is so cool. And Melba, like, she, she's one of those, like, Oh, and Melba, I've been catching up with Justin Bieber. Just so you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, like, paying attention to Justin Bieber and Selena Mel Gomez. Melba. Everything she... Yeah. Melva, you have heard know. my critique of Justin Bieber, Melva. You've heard my critique. I love Justin Bieber in the pop star, um, in the pop star music video for Drake and DJ Khaled. I do. Now, Melva, he did a good job. Two but, but everyone's obsessing about the Selena Gomez reference, and they think it's about Selena Quintanilla. It's like a conspiracy now. It's so weird. Fans no, are so no, crazy no, about no, that. It is Selena Quintanilla. Because when he says, really? Selena, well, because Drake's always been infatuated with Selena Quintanilla. Um, I don't know if Selena money with a visa would be the same as Ariana money. I think Ariana's had a better run than Selena. But Selena Quintanilla, the, the Selena that died, she had a visa? Like, I don't get it. Or, I, I don't more understand. Saying, like, Ariana, Selena, my visa. Like, those type of, that type of money is my visa. That Why not Selena Gomez? Why would it be Selena Quintanilla? Because he's had such a big infatuation with Selena Quintanilla. He's never. Oh, he does. Her. See, I didn't know that. I yes. didn't know that. He's worn Selena shirts. No one knows Selena. That's crazy for me. Like, see, I'm not on social media, so I don't know these things. That's just what I think. I just think that when he says that, Selena money to me, Selena Quintanilla money is a different type of money yes selena gomez does make her coin and that could be the reference i'm just saying from what i got from it from his love for selena quintanilla that's who i think that it's about i don't know oh by the way melva just so you know there are still people that call the radio station every day every fucking day um hi i won justin bieber tickets um <laughs> I just want to know, um, I know he canceled his tour, but um, I still won these tickets. I want to know, like, do I still have these tickets? Sorry, my, my uh, thing changed for them. But still, that's what they sound like. And I'm like, what do I say? It's a pandemic, motherfucker, mother lover. Sorry, mother lover. <laughs> mother lover, what do you want me to tell you? Like, what do you want to hear? <laughs> he's not going to perform for you. What, yeah. what, what? If there's a performance coming, it's a virtual performance. And you're going to see it on YouTube, Twitch, or Apple Music. So just subscribe now 
That's where it's going to be. Uh, Melva says she's going to call it tomorrow. Um, it's a Saturday. Iris's ass is not there. So call you Monday. Want. Tell, her, tell me Monday and I'll be there. Yeah, Monday. <laughs> All right, Iris. Hey, uh, catch up Mac, episode 14, the one and only DJ Mighty Iris. Let me, uh, of course, give you the horns real quick. Come on. Okay, I want to just ask you a couple funny questions right now. Um, the first yeah. one's funny, but then the other ones, I guess, are, um, well, I guess not funny, but just like different takes. We'll take a shot. I'll let y'all get back to your Friday night. Me and Lori are going to turn up here. We got a bottle, or she's got a bottle of wine ready to go. I've got the Jameson already going. Um, that says big fun. You are a lot of big fun, Iris. And that's the reason we've got a two and a half hour show going on. At this it's moment. a movie reference. What's it from? Uh, there's an 80 movie called Heathers. And uh, this is a band in the in the movie. It's called Big Fun. And they had a, a song called Teenage Suicide, Don't Do It. It's Heathers is a very dark comedy movie from the 80s. And it has Shannon Doherty, Christian Slater. Like, it's such a good movie. And I don't know if you've seen it. I have it if you want to borrow it. But I, I have I, it. You are someone that will let me, you've let me borrow a movie before. You are someone that literally, you're the type of person that's like, you haven't seen it? I will lend you the movie. There's so many people that won't do that. And you are totally the person that's like, you haven't seen it? Oh, I got you. I'll bring it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Jessica, shots. You and DJ Slice, get y'all shots. Oh, yes. Raul yes. is going to take a shot with that's Iris it. as well. Melva, you're taking a shot. NW Don Fades, I see you with the shots. Everybody is taking a shot tonight. It's going to be a great time. Uh, Iris, yeah. let's go off some questions real quick. Let's give the, give the people what they want. Um, if you had the chance to be a big time radio host or a big time DJ, what I mean by radio host is, I mean like, um, uh, um, I mean like a, um, man, I cannot think of her name right now. Uh, I'm thinking of the girl for uh, Power 105 in New York. Um, oh my God. She is like the Mecca of, Girl radio host. N nevertheless, nevertheless. Not the one with Charlemagne the God, right? No, not the one. Not Angeli. Who, Lori? Oh, yeah. What? Not the one with Charlemagne at the Breakfast Club. Not no, her, not right? Was it Lori? Oh, Angie Martinez. Angie Martinez, who literally got to like interview Tupac, Biggie, like, no, like, not like all the huge people back in the day, right? Okay, so if you had the chance to be on that Mecca platform in Power 106, Hot 97, midday, afternoon, night show, radio host, or you had the opportunity to be a DJ, like a, a, like a DJ, like, um, like a Tiesto, or like a Vici, or like those kind of DJs, chain smokers, selling out venues, mm -hmm. which would you rather prefer? Which would I rather prefer? Yeah, between being like like the voice of a city or the voice of a generation. Ugh. Um oh my god, that that's crazy because chain smokers like like with the right song, oh my god, when they didn't they do the the middle that song, the meet me in the middle song? Is that chain smokers? I oh, thought it was. Closer. Ah. Uh. It depends. Oh, my God. That's such a, a tough question. Um, so would you rather sell out arenas as a DJ, or would you much rather be these high-time radio personalities that literally own a city or even own multiple cities? Your voice is heard across an entire country. I don't know, because Paris Hilton can, like, she was a DJ, right? So, like, she, she got people in Poland, like, going like this. And I've never had anyone do that for me. So, oh, that's a tough one. Um, I think I'd rather do a live thing, a live thing where I could see people think, doing this yeah. and jumping up. Like, like, oh, I don't know, like Paris Hilton or Zed or like, I know Calvin Harris can do it. And Calvin Harris, I didn't get to tell you this earlier, but Calvin Harris, man, he's one of my favorite, like, like producers. Like, he's so oh. good. Like, he's so different. Dude, I, I know you know Calvin Harris. You like him, right? He bring he is the ultimate summer vibe DJ. Yes, he is. Yes. He does summer vibes for sure. Yeah. Summer vibe. 
Yeah, I can tell you, Iris, uh, uh, me, I'm not a DJ, obviously. But as far as that, if I could be a big time radio host, or if I could have a presence on stage, I'm with you. The on state when I would work the clubs, there is no feeling like I, I never got that feeling in the studio, as opposed to the clubs, cracking the mic in front of the hundreds of people that are right there at the club and the hundred thousand that are listening on the radio. I love that. I, I love that vibe with the with with your next to M three, and the and he's just killing it. And the music, oh, yeah. the monitors, the monitors are just hitting you, and you're just yep. vibing. Ah, oh, yes. No, I have the worst the worst memories about DJ M three. I even have a picture to capture it. You <laughs> haven't seen this. It was back on my old uh, Facebook page. What? Maybe MySpace? I don't even know. Oh, so there's a picture of me when I was way skinnier, and I'm like this. I don't know if you've ever heard, like, uh, Jessica Simpson's uh, song. It's called Living in the Shadow of Someone Else's Dreams. It's about her sister, Jessica Simpson. It's Ashley Simpson, right? So it's a picture of me like this. And I'm, like, curled up and crying at the at the foot of Mondo's uh calves I think. <laughs> at the at the bottom and he's like this he's like DJing like this like he's Bruno. like <laughs> he's, back to us. he's like DJing right here <laughs> and I'm in front of him like this like like right here like I'm it's on my old Facebook oh wait my old um uh MySpace I think Maybe and my I'm like this I'm crying and Mondo is DJing at the bottom that <laughs> that's what it feels like it's horrible it's horrible Oh man, that's too funny. That is mm -hmm. too funny. Um, Melba said right here, I feel like the DJ would be more the opportunity to travel to different countries. Like I said, um, I just, I really thrive from a live audience. I really, that is where Corey Mack really comes out. And I think it's probably the same for you. There are some people that do such a great job behind the scenes that that's where they feel the most comfortable. I feel the most comfortable in front of people. Having an audience. That's why I feel the best. Dude, First. you are so good. Whether or not you have an audience, dude, you're you're so good at keeping the conversation going. I couldn't do that. And by the way, I wanted I wanted to tell you, do you know what this is? This Your is Freddy Krueger's You just told him? I did. You didn't let him guess. I didn't. Oh, but is it Freddy Krueger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, it is. But do you know, do you know about Nightmare on Elm Street? Are, is that one of your, who's your favorite boogeyman? I want to know. That's actually him. Freddy Krueger? And what's funny is uh, we actually wanted to get a costume for the kitties because we've been calling Boots Freddy Boots. The whole Aww. time. Freddy Boots and then Michael Mittens, which is Michael Myers. So the two cats are going to be Freddy Boots and Michael, uh, Michael Myers, or Freddy Boots and Michael Mittens. For but have you seen have you seen these movies? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Not all of them. Uh, I would say I've seen Nightmare on Elm Street one and two. I know they went yeah. off a different thing. Then Wes Craven did his thing with uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I um, know. The I know. New one they came out with a couple years ago was really good, and they had brought back the old actor of Freddy Krueger on that one. The fact that he's still alive and he still does these um the um what are they called uh the comic cons you know uh yep. Robert England I've heard he's so nice and I want to meet him so bad before I die but you know we'll see yeah no 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 uh, that is easily one of my favorites uh, we've actually already started a little bit on Halloween movies we had our niece over the other night and um, we already started watching we watched The Boy we watched The Conjuring Two. We watched the new yeah. Child's Play one, the new one, which was so The new one? Yeah, it was so different. It came out in 2019. Oh. So it's not about a psycho serial killer possessing Chucky. It's more- I know what it's about. Aubrey Plaza's in it. Like, it's crazy. Yeah, no, it's more about like technology. Um, I know, I know. Us on the new one. Um, no, I think you have to watch the old school ones, like like the Scream and the Omen, and I have so many. Look, you have not seen my DVD collection. Look, it's up here. Wait. Oh, oh that's. Ah! Wait, sorry, I, I hey, broke it. I can yeah. see how quarantine has been perfectly fine for both of y'all with that. No, kind of it's, it's not quarantine. It's me. 
<laughs> well, I'm saying during quarantine, you were able to stay entertained enough with that DVD collection. Oh, it's a big DVD collection, but um... huge. huge. Um, Nick Trey said Poltergeist is one of my favorites. Another great movie that is on the list for Halloween easily. Um, Poltergeist. Did you know they banned trick or treating in California this year? Ah, uh, they lifted it. Oh. Yeah, so, so they banned it for like two days and then they lifted it like a day ago. And they basically said that now they're considering it, uh, th they're basically telling people it's, it's not a good idea, kind of. Oh, that's sad. Like they're discouraging trick-or-treating. Trick-or-treating's a horrible idea nowadays uh, with pa the pandemic. We're actually gonna turn our apartment into a haunted house for our two nieces. And they're gonna trick or treat here at our apartment and we're gonna have different stations set up and I'm gonna make music and I'm gonna do stuff in, in my garage band uh, with my Bluetooth speakers to kind of have different voices going off through the apartment. And I'm gonna put up plastic wrap that sections off certain parts. So okay. I'm, I'm unemployed. I'm on quarantine day one something. I've got all the time on my hands. I'm doing something with this whole oh. I'm turning this shit into something. Oh, oh yeah. For I was, sure. You're, you're, you're totally going to do that. Um, Iris, you're a huge 90s movies buff. Give me your favorite 90s movie for the people that are oh, watching. That's a tough one. There's so many different All genres. Time. Iris, one that you would grab right now to watch. <sighs> if someone said, show me the 90s, show me the 90s. Oh my God, apparently there's Mighty Ducks or The Sandlot. There, there's like two. There's like The Mighty Ducks, The Sandlot, Three Ninjas. It depends on whether or not you were into karate, baseball, or hockey. It, it okay. doesn't, it, it, there's, what do, what do you, what do you say? Like, it's, um. Well, let me tell you mine, Iris, let me tell you mine. Okay. Night at the Roxbury. That's a different one. That's a club. That's a club. That's that's, uh, mine. that's late says, 90s club. If someone says, show me the 90s, I'd be like, here's Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan. Enjoy. Okay. But I love that too. Quiz me. Quiz me on that movie. Well, no, no, I no, no. dare you. Well, I was going to do the quiz. I was going to do the quiz, but I wasn't able to, I didn't have enough time to come up with like enough questions. I just want to get your take on the favorites. Uh, Melva said, I've never heard of any of those movies. Melva. Um, Melva. We um we're gonna because she loves she loves Justin Bieber and BTS and Selena Gomez. She's not gonna know who Chris Kattan and Will Ferrell are. Melba, I love Melva because she doesn't know those things. Melva, this is kind of like when you leave school for summer and the teacher sends you with a, a book list and you need to read three of them before you return to class the next year. We are gonna put together a list for you, Melva, of four or five movies that you need to watch before October 31st. We got you, okay? Me and I was going to orchestrate it. You better love Will Ferrell. She says, I know Night at the Roxbury. Night at the Roxbury is classic. That is easily me and Lori's favorite. Uh, we've watched it about five or six times on this quarantine. Have um, you? Very easily. Easily. Um, Iris, your favorite 90s TV show, and it was developed in the 90s. Not an 80s TV show that carried over to the 90s, but a 90s TV produced show. Saved by the Bell? Lori, is Saved by the Bell 90s? We I thought it finished. was 80s okay. slash 90s. Well, 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 we just finished Saved by the Bell, but let me get confirmation. Lori? Wow, they actually we watched it. We did, and we watched the Hawaiian, and we watched the college years. Shut up. Yes, Lori made me watch all of them. We just finished like two weeks ago. Why wouldn't you quiz me on that? Like, I love, I love really? Saved by the Bell. If I would have known that, I would have, Lori probably would have came up with a million questions for that. Um, I think that Saved by the Bell is 90s. Um, I'll give you mine. Oh, 89. 89 is when it came out. The first season, which is very, uh, people don't know the first season very well. Which one? Uh, the first season of Saved by the Bell. It was, it was like a totally different season. And no, I know. I know. It was like Wake Up Miss Bliss. Like it was it was an yeah. 80s version. I know it. Yeah. Um, so mine would have to be South Park. Uh, South Park was in 1993. 
and I still watch South Park to this day. I don't know South Park the way South you do. South Park is, I think, wow. Besides The Simpsons, South Park knew exactly what the hell their lane was. They killed it. Someone said uh, Beverly Hills 90210. I'm sure that's a lot of favorites. Of but people. yeah, no, no, no. But South Park, that's not my forte. Like South Park was like not my, my parents wouldn't let me watch that. It no, was I, my. No, I know. I yeah. Mean, hey, my friend's house I was telling you about, my best friend Ernie and the neighborhood we grew up in that probably lived behind you. I would have sleepovers at his house and he had a TV in his room and we would watch South Park on the low. See? On the weekends? See? I did it. I did it. Uh, Iris, um, so that one was, wait, I was going, oh, damn it. I didn't want to say South Park yet. I meant favorite 90s show. You said, hold on. You said, you said Saved by the Bell minus Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Show, sorry. I meant two questions on this. So mine would be Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yours would be Saved by the Bell. Iris, what's your favorite animation cartoon from the 90s? Oh, animation? Um, like cartoon. Okay. Mine would be South Park. That's what I meant to say. See, that's why we're different. Because I, I, I forget, how old are you right now? I'm 32. I'm 35. OK. Oh, we are a little older. Oh, I thought we were a little closer than that. So did I. I guess we're not. <laughs> but like mine, mine, mine is like Rocco's Modern Life yes, or like definitely. no same Daria way. or Rugrats, something like that. Like that. That's mine. Doug. Like Daria, Doug. You were Doug, right? I love Doug, but Iris. I have always thought that you are Daria in living person. Thank you. Lori was laughing. That's, Lori that's laughing what I was going bedroom. for in high school. I wanted to be Daria. I had the boots. Look, I still have the boots. Look. Yes, you do have the boots on. Lori, she's got the boots on. La, 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 the, la, la, la. I have that ringtone. You where know who the, that ringtone is for on my phone? What? For Marcus. You know Marcus at the bottom? The door Yo, guy? Hell yeah, I know Marcus. Yeah, that's his ringtone because I bought him all those seasons and we love Daria. So that's that's our ringtone. Let me tell yeah. you, I so we we were starting we we've been watching Daria periodically for like the past like maybe year on and off. It's on. Sure. Um I love Daria. Those were my MTV days uh during the summers back when I was young. Waiting me for too. TRL. Me you too. Waiting for TRL and Daria would come on at like two thirty. Yes. And TRL came on at like four. Man, those were the summers. Melba, you don't understand. You weren't outside at that time. Um, Wait, Corey, Corey, Corey. I have to pee real quick. Can you talk to Raul for a second? Yes. I have Watch to pee. Talk to the fans too. <laughs> Raul, jump on in. Hey, um, Daria was such a great show. Let me tell y'all. And what's so funny is. When I was looking at Daria's character, I thought the same thing. I, I remember telling Lo, I was like, Daria is, I, I was like, Iris is Daria in living proof. Like, that is Daria without the green trench coat. If she had the green trench coat, she's got it. It's over. Um, she's got a black one. Does she? Oh, no. Wait, oh, what's it, the black? Oh, no, no. Iris does. Oh, Iris has a black one. Okay, okay. I was, yeah. gonna, I was like, <laughs> maybe, maybe Daria's shirt was green. I couldn't remember. Hey, man. No. Who, hey, how are you doing? Real quick, I got you on. I'm going to finish up with Iris here in a second. But uh, how you been, man? I've been great, man. Fabulous. Oh, she's back. She's, wow, that she's is a good. fast bathroom. Good. 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 Uh, almost three hours on the show. Uh, Lori told me earlier, I think you like to go for this long. I do. I do. I just love talking. And I love talking to someone that can give it back like this. So I love it. Actually, I told Rahul, I didn't understand why it was so long, but now I get it. Because when you're drinking and talking, like, it just goes by so fast. It's a vibe. I understand now. It's a I understand. Vibe. Yes, this, this isn't a traditional sit-down I'm going to grill you for questions. 
ask the typical same stuff and give the typical same answers. It's a vibe. I love it. Raul, is that a Cobra Kai t-shirt they want to know? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey! of course. Cobra <laughs> Kai, oh, man. Have you watched uh, it? Because no, we've been, we we've been trying to tell people work. how awesome the show is. Yes, yeah. we're watching it with our niece. Oh, yeah. we, we subscribed to YouTube Red just to watch, like, the entire thing. Yeah. Season one and two, like, oh, just for that purpose, for this show. Much more money subscribing to Netflix. It's on Netflix. No, no, no now no, no. it is. We thought oh, season before two was going to be on Netflix. It wasn't. Oh. It was on a year ago. Yeah, it was like a year ago. On YouTube Red. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I think it is new. You're right, you're right. I love that. That that That's a great shirt. I fucking love that. Thank you. Iris got it for us. I did not. Yes, you did. Uh, okay. We have matching shirts. Hey, I know I, you, but... Iris, hey, last two... Stop. Iris, last two questions. I mean, you got to take a shot. We got to end this. Uh, yeah. Who is the actor you would just cherish to meet? You would just love to meet? Oh, my God. There's so many. I know, I know but, but, but consolidate. Give me your one. The one? The one. Ugh. I'll give is you mine real quick. Um, is, it, I, is it 90s or any actor, like, any ever? Actor, I'll give you mine real quick. I would really love to meet Will Smith. Um, I fell in love with Will Smith from his early movies, from Fresh Prince. Dude. And I autobiography uh, in, in writing class in third grade on Will Smith. Of um, course. He had badass that's he my, had that dance moves that's with my, Ashley Banks. Him yeah. and Jazzy um, Jeff? Are you serious? Parents don't yeah, want to I know Jazzy Jeff, not personally. Mondo probably does, but oh. who knows? Jason Sherman. Uh, okay, so it's either Jim Carrey oh my or Mark, Wait, no, yes. Martin Short. Martin Short, Jim Carrey. Um, I saw you put Martin Short in your um, radio biography for 93.7. You were like, I'd love to meet him. I thought that was the answer. Jim Carrey. Yes, I would love to meet Jim Carrey. That's a great one. I love that. Dude, Dumb and Dumber. How how would you not want to meet no, wait, Dumb and Dumber? Ace, Jim Carrey. Uh, Ace Ventura. I'm sorry. Ace Ventura. That one. Dumb and Dumber, Ace Ventura, uh, anything cable guy, cable else. Guy. Cable guy. Like, how how could you not want to meet that? Like, so it's the number 22. Um, he did so many things. He is. Yeah. I love that answer. Uh, real quick, Iris, and then we're going to take a shot. Last question. What would be the favorite artist you would ever want to meet? Anytime, at, dead or alive. If favorite could, artist? Favorite artist of all time that you would just love to meet? Cable Guy is hilarious. Yes, Mel, it is. Favorite artist, like musical, right? Musical? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Michael Jackson. Michael fucking Jackson. I fucking want to meet him. I want to hug him. I would want to. It's Michael Jackson. No, no, hands down. Michael Jackson. <laughs> That's why I'm dating this guy right here because right. he knows he's how to person impersonate him. <laughs> <laughs> I love he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, anyone that knows me, mine hit twenty percent battery. Sorry, um, my battery is running out. Twenty percent. Yeah, um, but mine would have to be uh, Little Wayne. Um, I, I have to meet Wheezy. Um, he's, he's just, no. he, he's transcended the culture. Um, <laughs> wait, no, Raul, Raul wants to know if you've seen a, a broad city, like, because, uh, Alana, it's all about Lil Wayne. She's like, I'm Millie, I'm Millie, I'm Millie. Go so on Comedy Millie. Central. It's a comedy yes! Central, right? Never saw it. What? Oh my God! No, I know, I know. He loves Broad City. He loves it, but I know that's you. That's <laughs> hey. Once again, I love those answers. Catch up, Matt. Episode fourteen. I'm so grateful to have the one and only DJ Mighty Iris, her boyfriend Raul, right there. Um, just rocking with me on a Friday night, having a good time. Are y'all ready to take a shot? Are we yeah. taking a shot? But I, I is AC in there at all? Because I think he got me this shot glass. 
which is I weird. AC has jumped in. Uh, someone did say they mm -hmm. want to meet Prince. Um, Prince. Who Prince. doesn't want to meet Prince? I will say your Jim Carrey answer went over really well, Cable Guy. Um, Cable Guy was a great movie. No, I have not seen uh, AC jump in the show. That's okay. But let's take a shot. We got to end this with a okay. shot. Everyone, please, Good. this is the moment. Go ahead. But how much time do we have left? Because I have a surprise for you still. Then, okay, let's do the surprise right now, and then let's take a shot. Okay, pour the shots. Oh, Roll. Jameson? Yes. Hell yeah, Jameson. Are you serious? I have to read with my reading glasses. Hang on one second. Oh, God. And I will see if I can throw on a little bit of vibes for everyone. Okay. Can I get a shot? Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. My shop board up And of course, I got my Nantucket uh, shot glass where we were supposed to for the game opener this weekend. Wait, do I have time to read this letter that I was going to tell you about? You do. Go for it. Go for it. Turn the music down. Go for it. Okay. Yeah. Turn it down because I, got I took the liberty. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. We got the we got the New York. New York. Hey. And Lake Tahoe. Wait, hey. put that up in the and oh. to add to it, Nancy. Yeah. Lake Tahoe and New York. All right, what is yours? Is that Bahamas? Then took it. No, it's where me and Lori got married in in Cape in the Cape Cod up in New England. Cape Cod? Oh. Why does it have a long what is it? What is that word? Wait. A lighthouse. Oh, oh okay. I thought I said Nantucket. <laughs> is it Nantucket? The Jameson is hidden for you. The Jameson. No, no. <laughs> no, no. All right. It looks like it says Nantucket. Wait, Corey. I. You have no idea what I what I've done for you. Look, <laughs> look at this. Wait, we have no idea. Wait. Okay. So okay. Let's hear it. Take the more. shot, and then I tell you, or I tell you, and then we take the shot. We're gonna take the shot at the end. Read, read what you want to read, real quick. Okay, check this out. I took the liberty of writing a letter for you before, you know, because social media is no good. Uh -huh. I hate social media, just so you know. Uh -huh. Okay, so check this out. I'm going to read this letter in the style that you would okay. read it. I have my glasses. Like, okay, all right. So, dear Mr. J-Mo. Hey. Okay. Why you got to be dissing my homeboy, Corey Mack, question mark. Uh, this guy fuels his show on the Instagrams with your liquid goodness. You need to endorse this man, exclamation point. If you, <laughs> if you don't, dot, 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 he might stop drinking your JMOs and the entire franchise could collapse, comma, <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. I don't want that. Do you want that, question mark? No, exclamation point. So look it, dot, dot, dot. No dude is going to promote your shit better, comma, than the Corey Mack attack himself, exclamation point. Murphy's Law, comma, mother lover, Exclamation point. Doink the doink. Exclamation point. Home skillet biscuit. Exclamation point. Where's the beef? Exclamation point. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Dot, dot, dot. And you know, a whole bunch of other dope phrases. I'm watching you, comma, DJ Mighty Harris. And, and, and the, the letters just get louder. Just get bigger. Look, look at this. Look, look. Can you see it? Go up. Go up. Go up. Wait, wait, wait. Up oh, more. You're too close. Go up. Back no, up. no, no. I, I can see it. That. Oh, you typed that thing out. Wow. That. The letters. The letters get bigger. I was drunk when I wrote it. I was drunk when I wrote it. Well, I give you the explosion with the air horns. That is. Let me tell you. Yeah, it's shot time. And I'll give you the siren. It's Liddy. It's Liddy. Hey, 
I love that letter. I hope that the offices of Jameson receives that letter. And I hope that they uh, act on the actions of that letter because that's so true. No one's gonna rub your brand harder. No one's gonna bring it more. Jameson is in my blood. I'm Irish, baby. Come on, support your I own. Know. We're all about supporting our own. Support your own. I'm a McDonald. Okay, I come from the motherland. So give me some goddamn Jameson. You're damn right. Hey, guys, catch up with Matt. Episode 14, the one and only DJ Mighty Iris. Let me tell you, this has been one hell of a show. Where the hell are my horns? Hold on. <laughs> one hell of a show, Iris. One hell of a show. Thank you so much. Um, you were great. I think that a lot of people in the, in the comments, they love it. They love everything you're doing. Um, once again, Iris, where can people hear you on air Monday through Friday in Palm Springs? Um, they actually, they can tune in at 93.7kclb.com, uh, oh. but I'd rather they just tune into my, uh, uh, YouTube channel. That'd be kind of okay, cool. What's the it. YouTube again? Search DJ Mighty Iris? Yeah, just, just search DJ Mighty Iris. You'll fucking see it. Like, it, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, you're on there and you <laughs> your episode DJ. is so good. Like, your episode is so good. I love your episode. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Hey, once again, thank you for coming on the show. Let's take a shot. Don't drink it just yet. Don't drink it just yet. Cheers. Cheers. Iris, thank you so much. Hit the hit the hit the camera. Hit the camera. Boom. Cheers. Yeah. When the smoke clears and the Hennessy drank That's when it's hard to pretend to be friends That's when you spot all the friends that be fake Real is a recognition Realize you get it from repetition Realize Now you your music is so good From the definition Cal Scrubby's on right now, I told you It's a new single Catch up What's he doing now? DJ Mighty Iris in the motherfucking building tonight this one hell of a show. Three hours. Three hours. This is where it's at. This is where it's at. She could delete it, but I got receipts. You know I did. Hey Iris, once again, I hope you and your hubby are doing good, man. Raul. Yeah, I hope that y'all are doing it, you know, doing good over there. Um, keep the vibes going. Keep the YouTube channel going because I like what y'all are putting out on YouTube. And oh those those random videos is really what sells. Showing a little insight to your life, something that's so basic, like setting up a camera in your kitchen and taking shots and just listening to music, people don't realize that's entertaining. That is entertaining. Yeah. That's what I wish we could do with you guys, but we can't hang out with you because, I, you know. I know. We're still trying to be safe, but one, you know, when the, all this ends, and we saw y'all right before this thing really got crazy. I know. So funny. Yeah. You drank oh. the bottle, Jameson, for me. And let me tell people that was probably the first bottle of Jameson on my show was your bottle of Jameson. I think that that was the first bottle of Jameson on Ketchup Mac episode one. So oh, shit. That's crazy. Thank, hey, I was a minute 57 left. Like I said, thank you so much. Episode uh, uh, 14, Ketchup Mac, DJ Mighty Iris. Y'all can hear her on 93.7 uh, KCLB in Palm Springs. Stream it if not. Search Iris on YouTube. She's got cool videos. She's a cool ass chick. Um, it's, it's just coolness all around her. Iris, thank you. Thank you. We will ah! afterwards, Iris. Y'all have a great night. Friday nights. I see you taking more shots. I don't know if you're drinking the same shot. Um, but thank you so much. And I gotta let you go right now. But thank you, Iris. We'll catch up afterwards. All right, all right.